All right, so here's a quick look at how I handle my weekly and quarterly planning in Rome Research. So I have this metadata page I've shown before, and I'll have a link to this um, in the description of the video, so you can copy whatever you want onto this. But this just has a variety of metadata. If I want to add a book, I can copy over the book attributes, articles, whatever, but I also have weekly and quarterly previews. So the quarterly ones, I'm still kind of working on. It's mostly just questions for myself to think about the quarter, think about the quarter ahead. Uh, not a lot of planning necessarily um, that sort of goes into the yearly planning. Really what I use a lot of is the weekly preview. Um, and so I'll show how that works. And really what I would typically do is open this in the sidebar. So I keep it as a favorite. So I will shift click the favorite to put it in the sidebar. And then I'm going to make a new page. You see I have a page here for week May 4 through 10, 2020. So I'm going to say week May 11 through 17, 2020. And of course that page doesn't exist. Now it does. So there it is. So we'll go to our weekly preview. And I'll just copy everything that's in here for the weekly preview, paste it in, and then I can clap, actually I'll not just clap, I'll close that completely. So here's what I go through, um, typically on Fridays, uh, really anytime from Friday to Sunday I do this, because I have my weeks start on Monday instead of Sunday, just because it kind of makes more sense the way the weekend would end the week with Saturday and Sunday, but you can do however you want. Uh, but typically, I have this blocked out for Friday afternoon to kind of look at the end of the week. I'm a few days early here, so I'm not going to get it completely done, but I'm going to at least start on it. So looking at the week ahead, I kind of plan out my big three, the main three things I want to accomplish next week. I want to get a project kicked off. I want to get a big blog post out. Whatever my main three things I want to handle are, that goes there. I'm going to skip the daily stuff for a moment. The daily stuff is the key to all this. So I'm going to spend the most time there. But just running down further, I just have some other notes I want to look at. Um, add other meetings from last week, make sure I have the contacts in my contact system. I look at any running or workouts or carpool and stuff, make sure that gets on the calendar. I kind of schedule that mostly a week at a time. Uh, so I go through my calendar, get that stuff added. Um, any people I met or talked to last week, I put an Anki, you know, just so I can remember their names a little bit better. I just kind of talked through some of my biggest wins, landed this client, you know, got good feedback on this blog post, you know, uh, whatever happened there. I take the big three from last week, whatever they were there and plug them in here, one, two, three, and then have sliders to say, just for me to kind of judge, like, okay, that was one of my big three. How did I do? And typically, I think last week, a couple weeks ago, I had all tens, and that was like the first time ever. Typically, well, that one didn't go so well. That's a two. This was an eight, you know, whatever was going on with those. And then thinking more about just what worked and what didn't. Uh, this typically focuses a lot on reading and exercise and that sort of thing. And then just some, again, for myself, what will I keep, improve, start, or stop based on the above stuff? So I need to read more, need to exercise more, you know, whatever the case may be. Again, though, the main key to this thing is this daily stuff. And it's not even the daily stuff so much that matters. It's creating these dates. And so what I do for each of these is go through and actually build the new date for that. So the first one is May 11th, 2020, which actually has some stuff on, our, on it already. So it's there. And we have May 12th, which does not exist yet. And there's tools to help do this a little bit better um, with the Rome Toolkit and stuff. But um, it's not a big deal. I do use that for some other stuff. But the 14th is already there. Oops, May 15th, last year's there. I retroactively added some stuff to that. May 16th, 2020, and then May 17th. So this serves a few things. Oops. Um, if I'm on any daily page, now that will show up in the calendar picker because all those dates exist. But what I do now is I spend a few minutes on each page to just kind of look at that day ahead. So we'll go to May 11th, and it already has some things pulled in. Uh, some projects and stuff, some tasks. You know, I want to haggle with SiriusXM a little bit, send my weekly email, check for new business listings, you know, various things for projects. That's all fine. But I also put in a few just general calendar events here. So here at 7.30, I have the Marquee Monday. This is actually a webinar this time. It's normally an event I go to on the second Monday of the month, but that's about it. And then 2 o'clock, I have, let me run over my calendar, another tab. Um, oh yeah, our State of the Melon talk. Uh, so just where we get our staff together just to talk about how our agency, Green Melon, our agency is doing. And that's really it. So that's kind of how Monday looks. What's cool now though, and this works going forward, is on any day I'm in, when I'm on those daily pages, when they come up, if I want to jump to a different day of the week, I can just click on week and then jump to the next day. So anytime, any daily page I'm on pretty much, I have, I've done this for, for going back weeks and weeks and I say, oh, what am I doing on Thursday this week? So I may be on this Tuesday. I say, what am I doing Thursday? Boop. Boop, and I'm on Thursday. So there's other ways you could jump to with keyboard shortcuts, but that makes it really quick to, to deal with. So let's go back to Tuesday for a second. So uh, let's see, what do we have? We have, I have a 9.30 project review meeting, just an internal meeting. 
Uh, I may have sort of a virtual luncheon. Actually, I'll, I'll make this KBA, the Kennesaw Business Association. Not sure what we're doing there, but I'll keep it sort of blocked out a little bit. And then uh, call with Jen. We, we're meeting with a attorney to work on just some of our terms of service and stuff for the agency. So kind of get those in there. And then I'll jump to Wednesday and I'll kind of work through my week that way. And that's really about it. This is a good chance just to kind of refresh what I have coming up. Um, a lot of the things I may kind of reach out, like that meeting with Jen is already confirmed, but uh, perhaps if it was one we had set a long time ago, I may want to go back and say, ooh, I have that call with Jen. Let me go touch base right now. I'll take a second, uh, shoot Jen a quick email saying, hey, this meeting's still good to go. Everything looking good. Seeing what's going on. So it's also a chance to not only put this stuff in Rome, but actually take the time to preview the week and reach out to things. I'm also in my calendar. I'm usually kind of finessing a few things. Like I see we have our recurring dance classes that show up in the calendar that aren't happening right now with the COVID stuff going on. So I'll take those out. Um, and again, I would normally add carpool stuff in, which isn't happening. So I take this as an opportunity to look not only at Google Calendar, uh, get that fixed up, and then copy some of that stuff into Rome here and then connect those pieces together. And then when by the time this day rolls around, I'll have it here. I'll have any other, other linked references come in, which would typically be tasks. Again, you saw Monday, I think, had a bunch. I think Wednesday, I have a few. Yeah, just some things. Um, I'm considering canceling vidIQ for my videos. We'll see if I want to do that. Um, I have an inspection company coming to look at my car the next day, so it's reminding me to go get a car wash there. So there's different things going on um, that pull in along with any event. So again, the 13th, I still need to add my events in for the day. Uh, so it makes it a great way to preview the week. And then once I've built this weekly preview, I will make it a favorite and kind of drag it up here. Once I get past the 10th, whoops, once I get past the 10th, I will take that one away. Um, again, it still exists out there somewhere, but I don't need it around anymore. So that way I can always pull this up to look at my week. But the way I typically get to it again is as I'm on each daily page, I see what's going on. I can just quickly jump to the week, jump to a different day, whoops, um, and deal with whatever's happening with that. So that's a quick look at that. I'm sure your templates will look a lot different than mine, but again, a link to the ones I use are in the link description here in YouTube. So certainly copy and use as you see fit. Thanks.